Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell, I got me a little new friend today. Um, usually I wear my hair in a wash and go or a twist out or I have it wrapped up. You guys have seen the numerous scars I've been wearing on here, but today I want to try something a little different. One of my best friends, she made me a wig and I felt like it was just time to, you know, just let her shine. Give her her, you know, little 15 minutes of fame, 10 minutes of fame in have at it so here she is just something different you know for the spring um and yeah you're probably gonna see me wearing a lot more wigs a lot more often so get used to her um i don't even know what to call her but that's not why we're here <laughs> we're here because today i have my may ipsy glam bag um and let's get right into the bag because you know unless i do have to keep you here i don't need to keep your hair too long so this is what the bag looks like super super cute and it's reminiscent of summer even though it's the may bag it's kind of getting you ready for summer so all over the bag you have like these little um ice cream pops and cones and i'm like oh i just needed to be warm here in new york already like it's been up and down in the 40s in the 60s but this week coming up she's gonna be in the 70s so i am thrilled so first things first, you have the little insert that they have inside of the bag. This is what she looks like. And it says there are 93 days, 15 hours and 47 minutes of summer. Are you soaking them up? Whether you're craving a road trip, a sundry siesta or a poolside fiesta, we dare you to take a day off and make it happen. In fact, your May glam back picks were chosen to help make all your warm weather dreams come true. I love that. I love that they send um, things in a bag um, curated for the specific month. So that way going into summer, you know, you have certain things and, you know, so forth and so on. So let's start pulling stuff out of this bag. The first thing I have is the Hey Honey Besame Mucho Shea Butter and Propolis Lip Balm for dry and chapped lips. This is what she looked like. I love a great lip balm. As you can see, I don't have a lipstick today because sometimes you just need to give your lips a break. Um, we put them through a lot with like the matte lips and lipsticks and lip creams and stains. And sometimes, like today, is a no lippy day. So this I really, really love for summer um, to protect your lips from like the sun. Because if you didn't know, your lips get affected by the sun just like every other part of your body. The next thing I have is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in Sin. This is what she looks like. Really, really pretty. I'm going to swatch her for you on the back of my hand. So, let's see. Let's pop this bad boy. Let's get her open. So, I'm just going to put some on my ring finger. So, that's what it looks like if you guys can see that. And then I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. So this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty um, kind of gold glow. Um, really, really nice. I really, really like it. Really, really subtle. I don't have it on right now, but it's really, really pretty for summer. Next up, I have the Tristique. This is the mini matte lip crayon in Tuscan Wine. You guys know I'm a sucker for a lip. This is what she looks like. And I'm just going to swipe her above the Urban Decay. And so that's what she looks like. Really, really, really rich um, red. Um, looks like it has like some type of like blue undertones, but it is really, really gorgeous. And I feel like that's a red that can go with anyone's skin shade, which is really, really great. Next up, I have a two, and this is from Luxie. I love Luxie. And this is the 660 Precision, Precision Foundation um brush and this is what she looks like a really pretty kind of like lavender purple color so i'm interested to try this because some foundations and or sticks they tell you not to use like a beauty blender which is one of my favorites they tell you to use a foundation brush so i'm interested to see how this one performs versus like you know your traditional beauty blender or sponge applicator next up we have what is this this is the pixie by petra endless silky eye pen and I want to say this is in black. It's already kind, kind of taped up, but it's an eye pen. Like, I don't, I mean, what are you going to do with an eye pen? So I'm not going to unwrap it because it's just like a, um, a traditional kind of eyeliner, just in a pen, but it's a more creamy formula. Um, a lot of brands are going away from your traditional, like, kind of, um, it's either a marker or it's like a creamy kind of pen. So this will be really, really dope because me and liquid eyeliners... One, my eyes are very, very slanted, and two, this hand is not so steady, so <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work out. And then I also redeemed some of my points for this Juara Turmeric Antioxidant Radiance Mask. Um, it's supposed to brighten and minimize pores um, for all skin types. I love this brand. If you haven't heard Juara, get your life. Um, they're really, really great. Um, they focus on um, natural beauty 
and skincare and I got this mask I want to say as a sample and I tried it and I fell in love with it and I saw this as a point perk for Ipsy and I had to grab it and jump on it so if you never heard of it get you some and if it's still available as a point perk then go to Ipsy and get one it is amazing you will not regret it that is it for my May Ipsy glam bag thanks so much for tuning in guys um let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section below um and if you have Ipsy let me know um what you got in your bag if you got some things different and if you got some of the similar things to me and you tried them let me know how you feel about them thanks so much for tuning in guys like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more Chloe there